In today's video, let's see what you can do with your database, the importance of your database, and how you can leverage your database you are already having in place. My name is Annette Block, and we make real estate marketing easy. If you have not subscribed yet here to our channel, make sure you subscribe below, hit the little bell so that you get notified every time we are coming up with a new video. So let's jump into a database and hopefully all of you have a database, especially when you are in real estate. So you should have one central place where you are storing or managing all the information you are having from new client opportunities entering into your pipeline. It could be as fancy as a CRM, customer relationship management tool, or as easy as an Excel sheet where you are now putting all the information, name, number, email into one Excel sheet so that you know exactly where your people are in the pipeline. We would recommend you are segmenting your new client opportunities in different stages. So here at our company, we are segmenting everybody who is out between zero and 30 days, 60 to 90 days, 90 days to six months, and everybody over six months. That is important because now we can customize the content to each category. So when somebody is out 30 to 60 days, they are almost at the process and making the decision of buying or selling a home. At the other hand, when we are talking to somebody who is six months out, now we will provide them with different content because they are still in the educational stage. So we would recommend when you have a database that you segment them into different categories. It also doesn't need to be as 30 to 60, 90 to 100 days out. It also could be A, B, C. So this is up to you how you want to work your database and want to categorize your database so that it best works for you. Now, many of you are maybe starting out just in real estate and they don't know what a database is. A database is nothing else than having it sheet of paper where you have all the information from your new client opportunities entering your pipeline. You also could simply say those are your lead information. So you want to have name, number, and email so that you can have different contact points with the, your new client opportunities. Also, what can you do and how you can leverage your new client opportunities? When you have your database all in one place, now you can touch them at different points. You could send them emails, you can send them text message, you can touch them over Messenger, but also you can use social media so that you are all the time in front of your database so that they don't forget you, what you do selling real estate. So I don't know if you knew you can take your database and upload it into Facebook, where you now can build an audience, where you are uploading all the information into Facebook and building a custom audience for the contact information you are already having. Now you can retarget those audiences and put more content in front of them. So now let's say you do a video and you want your people you are having in your database uploading a guide. This has two meanings to it. Once they interact with you and twice, if they want to go into and upload a guide, now you can start a conversation and find out more where they are in the process. The conversation could be like a phone call, it could be a messenger, or it could be text. It is all up to you. But if you want to automate many, many things, I would recommend attaching to your guide a messenger bot who now delivers your guide and starts a conversation with your new client opportunities where you always can jump in 
and take over instead the but talking to your new client opportunities. Also, when you have your client in a database, now your database makes it very, very easy for you to stay in contact, to grow your audience. Your database is nothing else as an audience, which you are now able to influence to different tactics like retargeting on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, depending the platform you are using and building out your empire as a real estate agent. So as you know, we are saying stay as local, as hyper-local as possible, because in the niches are the riches. Also, when you are building out your database, you actually want to make sure that you know exactly who your client avatar is or who your client idle client is you want to serve for many maybe they are starting out in the luxury market and they want to serve luxury properties owners or buyers or seller but many of you maybe want to start out in the first time home buyer va buyers move down move up so there are several niches you should focus on where you now can speak exactly to your idle client. And that makes it much, much, much easier when you are creating content on different social media platforms, because now you are talking exactly to the person who wants to hear what you have to say. And also when you are posting on Facebook, you now can leverage that Facebook post and send everybody that information in an email where you are now able to guide them to your Facebook post. And you also now can create a custom audience of everybody who engaged with your Facebook post, making it much, much easier to stay in contact and build out a campaign so that you are having the right content at the right moment when they want to make a decision to buy or sell real estate. At the end of the day, it comes all out to the no like and trust factor and social media and your database you are having is very important to build that no like and trust factor so you are staying in contact with email they're getting to know you you send them into your facebook pages or even into youtube there are different voices out there how you can use it we personally send everybody to our facebook page where we posted what we sent our audience in our emails and then we are looking who is engaging with our facebook posts there are different voices out how you can use social media content but that is not the time today because that would get much much deeper so make sure that you have your audience and engage with your audience to different platforms such as email facebook and now repurpose those database you can leverage to stay in front and engage to social media. We are also recommending that you are having strategies and systems in place so that you are able to follow up right away to start a conversation soon as somebody is reaching out and ask you question or even you are able to take a look how engaged they are with your content and now start conversation to different systems and to different platform it could be manual but also it can, can be very strategic as well to yours your audience is gold especially now when you can repurpose using such tools as social media to stay in front and also 
always be the one who is providing relevant content to your audience. That's where video comes into play because videos are the easiest form with people to engage, getting to know you and getting to trust you. Because when they see you, how you move, how you speak, they will make right then and there the decision if they like you or if they don't. And don't worry if they don't, you will never know. Probably they will unsubscribe, but that also gives you more power to focus on the people who want to hear your message and want to receive what you have to say. So don't get all tripped up if somebody unsubscribes. It is not. We are not all attracting the people we want to attract. So there is always a come and go, but the right people will hear your message and will relate to what you are providing. Your database is your future. Want to take care of your database. That is gold. That is your business. If you are not getting new people into your new pipeline, now you will struggle and you will not have a consistent business and have to worry where your next closing comes from. But when you are always having a stream of new client opportunities are coming in and you are guiding them through the process where they are, speaking to them to the process where they are, now you are much, much more more able to convert your conversation into transaction and into closings. So you want to treat your database very, very well. You want to have follow-up systems into place. You want to have different touch points where you are reaching out to them. And again, social media is an awesome form where you can even use social media to stay in front of your idle client. So how can you use your content you are providing, especially videos makes it very, very easy because through videos, you are able to get them into different points. You can send them a video via email. You could do a quick text message via video showing your face and sending them some greetings. But when you do an educational video, you are recording. Now you can take that recording and have it transcribed using that video as a blog post or even using the video for sending that to your database, then transcribing, putting it as a blog. But also if you are having a podcast, now you can take that recording and upload it into your podcast. And now you have the opportunity to send those different touch, touch points to your people. Some people want to listen. Some people want to read. Some people want to watch your video. So there are so many possibilities with your database, but also with doing videos that you can reach the right contact at the right time. Make sure that you are staying in contact with your database continuously because many agents have a database, but they are failing at nurturing their database and following up and always running to the new prospect that maybe could be a buy or sell. We all know in real estate, we are in for the long term because we know a transaction can take place 30, 60, 90 days. So until we are having somebody to convert, it could be as early as 30 days, but also it can take as long as 60, 90 days, half a year or even a year because we know people now through the internet start early out to research what they are looking for, researching about the processes so that they are educated when they are ready to buy or sell a home. So it's important that you are nurturing your database, always bring new client opportunities in, and then upload those information so that you can stay in contact of your database and nurture them through 
different touch points. I hope this helped you today to understand how important it is to have a great database. And now go make your database, put them all on one sheet. If you don't have a contact relationship management, when you are having them laying around on different sheets, on different platforms, put them all into one Excel sheet and figure out a strategy that fits you so that you can take your client opportunity to the nurture process to the closing table. Thanks for watching this video and you will see here two videos which we think you may like. Thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.